This morning, I'm at Stoller Farms with Marvin Stoller. And Marvin, this is a great place. And well, how you. long have you been out on here on this farm? Well, we moved here in 1979, and I grew turkeys until 1992. Ah. And then um, things went awry on the turkey business, but about 96 or 7, I started a hobby, <laughs> which has grown into a quite, a quite a business for us. And it's been a wonderful business with meeting so many wonderful people here. It's been great. Uh, beautiful flowers, you do hanging baskets, you have other annuals for baskets and containers, but I think you're really known for your geraniums. Well, I, we are. My, my daughter's become known as the geranium lady at the Beaverton Farmers Market <laughs> and the other markets that we go to, so anyway, it's been fun. Huh. Yeah. And you know, sometimes people will say, well, there's geraniums, there's seed geraniums, and something called zonal, so maybe you can explain the difference. Okay, yes, a seed geranium is, of course, grown from seed, and it hasn't been bred up as much as a zonal geranium like we have here. Uh, the seed geranium, uh, the flowers just don't hold up. Uh, they tend to shatter a little bit more. Uh, while the zonals have been bred into a quite a very healthy, long-lasting, long-lived uh, uh, plant. And you were mentioning about the branching. It's like that is a healthy, that's a huge plant here that you sell. Yes, the more branches you find on, on a plant, the more flowers you're going to get. Uh, each branch produces multiple blooms. So uh, yes, when you're shopping for a geranium, you do look for more branching. Uh, we grow, in, grow our, our geraniums in a larger pot, which provides a better root system for them and, and just helps stimulate that plant to produce a much bigger, bigger, better flower. They're gorgeous, and I love the colors. You have a lot of different colors here, and this coral is pretty, this red, and then two tones. Really nice, but then I noticed these back here just a little bit different. They're a little bit, look like more aggressive. Well, yes, we, we grow a, a calliope, a, 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 yeah, a variety called calliope dark, dark red and uh, lavender rose and hot pink. Wow. And uh, they're a cross between a, an ivy geranium and a zonal upright geranium. They're just beautiful. So you could put them into a container. They will kind of cascade a little bit. They will cascade a little bit, yes. That is neat. And so what kind of care for geraniums? Well, we certainly need to uh, water and fertilize regularly. Uh, I recommend fertilizing a, a rather dilute solution of, of fertilizer two or three times a week. Oh. And um, uh, water, certainly uh, daily in, in warm weather, they'll, they'll tolerate some dryness. Um, care other than that, they, need, they do need to be deadheaded. Okay. Um, and maybe and, you can show us because sure. sometimes we don't understand what that means. So Yeah, when, it, when a flower dies back, you want to pl uh, pluck it off at the base of its stem, right, right there if oh, you would. Oh, that's pretty easy. And it's, it's real easy, yeah. It, it breaks very nicely at, at, the, at the base of the stem. And so in a full sun plant too? It's a full sun plant, yes. Uh, um, four hours or more probably is a, is a good recommendation. Or afternoon sun, that nice hot afternoon nice, sun. Nice hot <laughs> afternoon sun, yes, yes. And so I see that, um, that you ha are here out in Molala, but then you're also at some farmer's markets. Yes, we're at the Beaverton Farmer's Market and we're at the Lake Oswego Farmer's Market. And so we can find you on Facebook too? Absolutely, yes. My daughter updates that Facebook page regularly and uh, features numerous things. Yeah, and Eden, she's the geranium lady and she's also the Facebook keeper. And she Absolutely. said that she really kind of keeps up there and if you have questions, you could Facebook them, any kind of care questions about any kind of annuals. But you have to come out and see them either at the Molala site or the Beaverton or Lake Oswego site at the farmer's markets. Thank you so much. This has really okay. been really nice to see you. Great, thank you.